When LEGO revealed the Avengers Tower at the end of 2023, one of the most surprising features was the number of minifigures. This 5,200 piece LEGO set came to jam packed with a whopping 32 minifigures, of which 19 were unique to the set. And well, this got me thinking, is this the most minifigures ever released in a single set? And as it turns out, no. Definitely not. While the Avengers Tower is in the top 5, it's actually very far from the number 1 spot. So today, I'll be counting down the LEGO sets with the most minifigures, and for simplicity, any sets with the same amount of minifigures will be grouped together. Now, as I was doing research for this video, I found two sets that were so close to making the list that I think that they deserve a quick shoutout. With 18 minifigures, we've got the fairly recent Lunar New Year Parade set from 2023, and just ahead of that with the 19, it's the Hospital set from the Long Gone Dactyl line released back in 1993. With 20 years separating these two, the only thing they really have in common is their large number of minifigures. But as I've hinted at, there are sets with far more. Of course, minifigures help define LEGO's identity. They're such iconic characters that are loved by so many people, and that's why I'm excited to announce a new drop on the Spitbricks poster shop, the minifigure patent poster. These are the drawings that LEGO submitted to the US Patent Office in 1978, in which their application was approved in 1979. This pair fantastic with the brick patent poster, so for a limited time only, you can buy both in this bundle to save 20% on your order. I'm only selling 100 copies of this poster. That's it. You can buy it separately or in the patent poster bundle, but either way, there's only 100 total. Grab yourself one of these sophisticated drawings by clicking the pop-up on the top right, or go click the top link in the description to shop now. Go buy yours now before this special poster drop is gone forever. Breaking into the official list, first up, we've got three sets that contain 20 minifigures each the Hogwarts Express, Pirate's Chess Set, and Betrayal at Cloud City. The Hogwarts Express is easily the biggest of these, with more than 5,000 pieces and multiple Harry Potter minifigures in dark blue, light bluish gray, and black clothes. In fact, 16 of the 20 minifigures are completely unique to this set. The Pirate's Chess Set is the first of a few chess boards on this list, which isn't terribly surprising. After all, a chess board needs 32 pieces, so these packages tend to come with a lot of minifigures as well, in addition to the few brick-built pieces. And as for Cloud City, this isn't the ultra rare set from 2003, but it does come with unique versions of Boba Fett, Han Solo, and Lando Calrissian that each sell for between 100 and 200 US dollars. Next up, we've got a five way tie here, so we're going to rapid fire through these. There's the Trade Federation MTT with its 21 battle droids, the amazingly detailed Lord of the Rings Rivendell set, the very colorful Ninjago City Market set, the Sandy Moz Eisley Cantina set, and this very odd fantasy minifigure set. Now, maybe you're like me and have never seen or heard about this one before. At first, I figured it was some sort of older theme based on the fairly bland packaging, but this set was actually only released a handful of years ago in 2017. In fact, it's part of the LEGO Education line, which is primarily designed for schools and educational institutions. These sets aren't typically meant to be sold to the general public, although the LEGO website does currently have a few select education sets to offer. Moving on, there are five sets with 22 minifigures figures apiece. First up, there's the incredible Lion Knight's Castle with 21 unique minifigures. The only figure combination in this box that isn't original to this set is the standard skeleton. Alongside the castle, there's also the Ninjago City Garden set with 19 unique minifigures of the 22. These large Ninjago modulars always deliver on the minifigure front, so it's not surprising to see them on this list. We've also got another education package with the fairy tale and historic minifigure set, which, like the previous one, contains a bunch of of minifigure parts and some small builds. The mermaid and merman are quite cool, as well as the snake charmer and this sand blue wizard. Also with 22 minifigures each, there is the table football or foosball set, as well as the grand champion cup set. This makes a ton of sense as any game of soccer, or football if you're not American, has 22 players on the field, 11 on each team. Now, taking yet another jump up in the numbers, there are five sets that each come with 24 minifigures each, which is just crazy if you think about it. We've got two more chess sets with 2005's Knight's Kingdom chess set and 2006's Vikings chess set. They're quite simple yet very effective and a great way to get a lot of LEGO minifigures. Besides these sets though, there's also the 2008 version of the LEGO Star Wars Death Star, but of all its minifigures, only four are actually unique to this set, making it one of the least unique offerings on this list today. And rounding out this quantity of minifigures, we have three old Dacta sets. Yup, it seems like back in the 1980s and early 90s, 
90s, people just couldn't get enough minifigures. The Community Worker set from 1985 came with a bunch of minifigures, and I think the box for this set just looks hilarious. There are hardly any bricks other than minifigure parts and accessories. In a similar manner, there's also this set, cleverly titled People, which also came with 24 minifigures. Though some of them are extremely simple, such as the white torso soccer player, or everyone's favorite minifigure, the plain white torso with red legs and white hat figure. That's its official name. Yeah, the pieces in this set are quite generic, and certainly not rare. Okay, now we're getting to the big guys. No more ties among five sets for one single spot. Here on out, we've got only one or two sets at each minifigure level. At spot number eight, representing 25 minifigures in the set, it's the Daily Bugle. This set is just incredible and a real winner for any LEGO Marvel fan. Of the set's 25 figures, 18 of them are unique, including the only official version of Daredevil and the Punisher that LEGO has ever released. I really like it when LEGO includes some more niche characters in these large sets. A character like the Punisher, for example, has some pretty diehard fans, and I can't ever picture LEGO making a Punisher-themed set, given the company's stance on guns and violence, in their sets. Also, I can't talk about this set without mentioning Spider-Ham. While he's not unique necessarily, as he also came in the Venomosaurus Ambush set, this might be one of my all-time favorite Marvel minifigures. Now, coming in as the set with the seventh most minifigures, we've got the Death Star. At first glance, this might look like a repeat, as I just mentioned the Death Star in the number 9 spot. But if you haven't already noticed, LEGO loves to release updated versions of sets every few years. This first one I mentioned was set number 10188 from 2008. This version is set number 75159 from 2016. These sets look pretty similar and are about the same size, with the newer one having about 200 more parts with 4016. It also has a few more minifigures, with a total of 27. However, many of them are very, very similar to the older version. For example, we went from Royal Guard with black hands to Royal Guard with dark red hands, or Chewbacca with reddish brown fur to Chewbacca with medium brown fur. Wow, truly revolutionary stuff by LEGO. But I mean, this isn't super surprising though, if you think about it, as there can only be a certain amount of scenes and minifigures to put with a Death Star set. Putting in some Ewoks or Jabba the Hutt just wouldn't make any sense here, of course. Next up, coming in at the number six spot, we have the last tie on this list, between the Kingdom's chess set and the 2018 version of the Hogwarts Castle with 28 figures a pop, although that number is a bit misleading. While the chess set has a proper 28 minifigures, the Hogwarts Castle is a little different. This set does come with 28 LEGO figures, however, it really only has four actual minifigures representing the founders of the school's four houses. And, well, what are the other 24? Well, they're nano figures, or statuettes, as they're sometimes listed. I hesitated to include this set, as these pieces don't technically count as minifigures, however, both Brick Set and Brick Link classify them as minifigures in this set. So here's the set. I do actually enjoy these nano figures, because for this set, a scale of them works so well with the builds, and really creates a sense of the massive scale of the castle. Also, none of these statuettes have ever appeared in any other set, and likely never will, making them incredibly unique. Nonetheless, if you're a nano figure hater, you can just say that the Kingdom's chess set claims this spot. The fifth highest count of minifigures in a set is 31, with this set called Community Workers. Wait, we've already looked at this one, right? Well, just like the Death Star, it seems like LEGO ran out of ideas and just decided to do the same thing over again. Or did they? While these two sets might have the same name and the same concept behind them of just being a pack of minifigures, one isn't exactly a repeat of the other. The original Community Worker set was from 1985 as part of the Dactyl line. However, this more recent version was released in 2005 under the LEGO Education theme. With 20 years between them, as well as having a fairly different set of minifigures, I'd say this counts as a completely different set. While most of the 31 minifigures are unnamed workers like Doctor, Octan, and Orange Vest, we do have a few names characters from the Extreme Stunts line at the time, including the star of the LEGO Island game, Pepperoni. Now, you were probably wondering where it would land, and here it is. The Avengers Tower with 32 minifigures has the fourth most minifigures of any set. Much like the Daily Bugle, this massive set is full of one-of-a-kind offerings, such as this Thor minifigure, Vision with his transparent legs and unique cape, and the president of Marvel Studios himself, Kevin Feige. LEGO also counts Dummy as a minifigure in this set, which is questionable to say the least, but the Death Stars mentioned earlier also counted versions of the Mouse Droid, so at least they're consistent. Breaking into the top three sets with the most minifigures, we have have 2008's Legendary Castle Giant Chess Set with 33 minifigures. For those of you doing the math at home, that number might seem odd. A game of chess only needs 32 pieces, so why is there 33 minifigures? Well, if you take a look closely at one of the Evil Side's rooks, you'll notice that each one has a skeleton on top. 
if you look even closer, you can see that one of these rooks has a skeleton prisoner underneath it. Today, a new one of these sets will run you close to $5,000 if you can even find one for sale. Of all the sets that LEGO has re-released over the years, I'm still waiting for an updated version of this masterpiece. And according to YouTube, I'm also waiting for 70% of you to subscribe. If you're part of this group of viewers, I'd appreciate it if you took two seconds right now to go tap that subscribe button. Now at number two, it's another old Dacta set, 1982's Little People with Accessories. Yes, that's its name. At least it's an accurate description of what's in the box. 36 minifigures and 30 common accessories. Back in the early 1980s, minifigures were still quite new, having only been released in 1978. This meant that a lot of people had spent years building up LEGO towns but had no one to live there yet. That's why we got so many of these huge minifigure packs around that time. While this set might have included nearly three dozen figures, they aren't anything incredibly impressive. But of course, what about that number one spot? Which LEGO set has the most minifigures? Well, you may have noticed that as we climb the ranks, one or two minifigures are added each spot, but that's about to completely change as this set includes a mind-boggling 80 minifigures. Yes, you heard that right, 80. Eight zero minifigures. What is it? None other than 1982's Fabuland minifigure retail box, and there's something else quite special about this set. You see, each box came with between three and five copies of 20 different Fabuland minifigures, and people could pick and choose which they wanted. This was decades before blind bags became a thing. The box even included these paper envelopes for stores to package the figures in. Pretty cool. Click the square on the left right now to buy the minifigure patent poster before they sell out. This exclusive poster drop won't last for long, so act fast, and don't forget to subscribe to catch my next video.